I'm Mike Sullivan. Do you ever get a case of the tops with your driver? Well, today we'll show you how to fix it. So we've got three things we, we just want to look at first if we're having trouble topping the ball. First thing we're going to talk about is the height of the tee. How tall are we teeing that, that ball up in the air? So we're going to take a look at what we want. When I set up here and I've got this ball teed up, I do not want to be in a situation where the ball, although you may think you want to hit the middle of the club face, we don't want to be set up like this. Okay? We need to be set up so that, that ball is teed up so that about half of that ball is above the top of that driver. This is probably gonna to be too high because you're gonna come under it too easily. This down here is probably gonna to be too low. Maybe if you're gonna be hitting into the wind and you have a good experience, this will be okay. This is definitely gonna to be too low. So first thing we wanna do is just check the tee height and make sure about half the ball is above the top of the crown of the club. So we've got the ball teed up properly. The next thing we need to look at is our ball position. If you set down a couple of lineman sticks here, one stick parallel, parallel to your target line, the other stick perpendicular to that, and you go to address that ball, and you feel comfortable with your lead foot, your left foot for a right-handed golfer on top of this stick, you probably have your ball position too far forward. So it should make some sense if your ball position's way forward, it's pretty easy to bottom out behind the ball and come up into that ball and hit a top shot or a thin shot, right? So we're gonna use these two alignment sticks to give us a good awareness of where our ball position is. And we wanna have it definitely forward to center. We really should be able to get our entire lead foot or our left foot here for a right-handed golfer up on, in front of that alignment stick. And we can practice hitting balls with these good lines here to give us feedback and to make sure we're practicing in a way where we've got not only good alignment but also good ball position. Okay, the last thing we want to check is we want to take a look at our impact position. Uh, if your ball position is good, if your tee height is pretty good, and you're still having trouble topping the ball, you probably have an issue with your impact position. What I mean by that is this. When we strike any golf shot, we really want to be able to strike a golf shot so we've got our lead wrist is fairly firm here. We don't want the situation where we get flippy at the bottom here. If you hit uh, tee shots or any golf shot and you tend not to move your weight onto your front side, you may have a little bit of an impact problem. So if you're still topping it with these other parameters in line with this scoopy type of uh, impact, I'm going to show you what we can do to learn how to improve our impact position, not just with the driver, but with any club. All right, so I've got my impact bag. I've got this bag roughly in the, the leading edge of the bag is roughly where my ball would be. I'm still using my alignment sticks. And even with the driver, we can work with this bag. I just wanna get a feeling for how it feels to strike this bag with my wrists in a firm position down here at the bottom. We're not looking to hit down on the ball. We're just looking to hit shots with a nice, firm lead wrist so we don't get that club head slipping past us into that, you know, that scooby type of an impact position because that's definitely going to provide poor contact with all of our shots, including our driver. Okay, I've got my ball teed up the correct height. I've got my alignment sticks down to make sure I have a good idea of my ball position. And I've been working a little bit with the impact bag to help promote a firm lead wrist so I have good impact position. Then we want to hit a few balls and just swing with good rhythm. Don't try to kill it and see if we can get that club to ascend properly into the ball to give us a nice ball flight without being thin or a top. So work on those three things if you're having trouble with topping. However, even if you're not topping your shots, an impact bag, 
ball position and correct tee height is always going to help your golf game no matter what problem you may find that you have. like this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up for a like and if you subscribe to our channel you'll be notified by email each time that we produce a new instructional video.